Hello everyone and welcome back. So we are here at the house as usual. Um, but a lot has happened this week and a lot of it I didn't get on camera for various reasons. Uh, mostly because I was really hustling. I had my grandpa around and we did some uh, magical things, let's say. <laughs> Uh, I have something pretty cool to show you guys this week, and maybe the thumbnail was a hint, but uh, yeah, let's let's get into it. So first thing th first, is, I think, is to talk about the uh, things you guys saw on the time lapse, which was getting this all cut out and ready for another panel box. So essentially, from the basement where the panels are, I'm going to rub a run a sub panel here to the second floor, and then one up to the third floor uh, to put in context where we are here. That's the door to the library. That's the door to Kim's craft room slash the maid's room. Uh, we're in the maid's hall right now. And this is just a utility closet for this hall. It's also where I have my Wi-Fi. Little blinky lights back there. Um, but I cut this open. I'm gonna put a panel box here. And basically the reason why I'm doing this and the reason why I'm putting one on the third floor as well is because it allows me not to run every single wire down to the breaker box in the basement. Basically I could run every, all the wires from here, save on wire and punch less holes and basically make it so where I don't have to have one giant, you know, line super highway like they did back in the day. I can kind of control things a bit more like this. Um, so yeah, I've got two cords popping through here. One is for the library and one is for Kim's room. And these are going to be the source wires or the power wires that are going to be the main lines. And you can see up there, some of the wires I've got going on. Uh, that's the, the box there, so that'll be the light. Uh, one of those lines there is the power or source wire, and one is the switch wire, which I've got installed over here. The switch was uh, an old metal switch box. It actually has a different pattern um, or, or screw distance, so you couldn't put a modern switch into it. Even though I'm going back with the push button ones I've showed you guys in the past, um, you know, it, it wouldn't have worked because the screw pattern or the screw distance was different. So I had to put a new box in. So I cut up this little bit. Um, you can see this little tube here. Um, looking at it, it's a lot thicker than all the gas pipes. It's not a radiator pipe because this goes straight up to the ceiling and there's no radiators on the roof above us here. Um, I think that actually might be the speaking tube. I found little bits of it in the ceiling and stuff. So here in the maids hall, if you look up, there's that pipe there and one that runs diagonal that way. I think those might be the old speaking tube. Um, now they are all cut up and they don't lead anywhere anymore. So I don't know how easy it would be to reassemble, but that's my best guess is I think that's the old speaking tube, uh, like the one that's on the third floor that I showed you guys in the past. past. Um, yeah, pretty sure that's exactly what that is. And so I found that rather interesting. Um, and also this hole up there above the closet here was already cut open. So I've been able to run the lines down through here. That's where that weird time-lapse shot inside the walls was from was up here. I have my little lantern up there right now because I've been working up there running all the new lines you see up there. Then the other source wire, which is going this way is for the library. As you can see, I put in a new box here because the old one wasn't set where the old gas line was. Um, now in the maid's room, I can't find the old gas line. It's pretty much gone. But up here, and it's gonna be almost possible to see, basically the old gas line, I think it comes from this way over and stops right here. But the outlet that would have the pipe that would come down like the elbow is sitting right above that, like dead center of that box. So if I find any gas lines, um, I'm trying to put everything back where it was. So I'm going to use that exact same position uh, to do that. So I'm, I'm trying to mimic what was here the best I can. Of course, there are certain scenarios like the hallway downstairs where it needs an extra light or like the maid stair stairs themselves, like the servant stairs. They also need an additional light. So I will be adding things like that here and there. But for the most part, you know, this, the library, for instance, only needs one light source. So let's put the light source back where it was originally. And if I can find evidence of where it was originally, I will move it. Even if it's a few inches one way or the other, even if it's not centered, which I didn't measure if it was centered or not. I just went off of what they did in the past. That gas line was definitely what was here originally. 
So, uh, you know, that's kind of how I'm basing certain things for certain rooms on. Uh, of course, like rooms like the parlors, stuff like that, they're all have these big medallions. So you can pretty much source where they were. Um, so before we get too far into this, the reason I don't have as much work done as I would like to is I did have a buddy from Austria in this week. So uh, that took uh, two days up. Uh, Mark, if you're watching this, hello. It was wonderful seeing you again. Uh, a buddy of mine, I hadn't seen him probably five or six years. So, you know, when that comes up, you need to, you know, spend some time with some people. So, um, but next week I'm hoping to get, oh, I don't know, about half of the house completely wired in. Now it doesn't mean plugged up and, and power surging through the house again. It means just getting the wires in because I'm going to have the electrician come through and actually wire everything up. I'm really hoping towards the end-ish of December or mid-December, early December, that we actually will have power here. And with power comes a whole bunch of things, you know, I'm like inspected, done, complete power. Because if I can actually get that going, that means I can put ceilings up. That means rooms can actually start coming together. It means I can put insulation in things and really get rock and rolling in this back little space that I plan on moving into. Um, so man, if I can get that done, oh man, that would be a huge hurdle. And um, it's, it's been a fun little experience so far. Um, you know, I've never wired a house before. Um, but it's actually not terribly hard. You just gotta make for sure things go the right ways. Now, of course, I'm not, you know, connecting anything. Um, so that's, that's the electrician's job. I'm gonna leave it to him. Um, but it's, it's definitely been fun. It's, uh, it's kind of fun, you know, feeding the wires where they gotta go and uh, knowing that where everything is in the walls and knowing that you put it there with your two hands. Like with everything, it's, it's always satisfying, right? So let's get to the, the main, chunk of this video, the thing I really wanted to show you, the thing I'm most excited about, because, you know, I have a little extra power this week that I'm really, really excited about. And so let me take you downstairs to the kitchen and I'll show you guys. So here we are in the hallway that I removed the ceiling from, uh, side door, dining room, closet, all that good stuff. And as we come up here to the kitchen and point at the kitchen, which is where you guys are currently pointed at. Yes, I know it's very dark, but I plan on fixing that by just the flick of a switch. <laughs> I've got one switch actually wired in. So you can see it there. It's one of the push button types, as you can see, it works. Um, these are new, but they're made to look old, of course. Um, that's what the entire house will have. We'll have these switches, which I'm really, really excited about. They have the little pearl um, buttons on them. And man, are they cool, but just having one light that's real and firing and working. Now, of course, nothing's actually truly like attached. It's not screwed to the box or anything. Everything's just kind of wired nutted together at the moment, um, but not to worry too much. Um, everything that's in this house and everything by code that I have to do is on these circuit breakers called arc faults. Um, so everything's on an arc, arc fault breaker, if I can speak. <laughs> Um, so if anything, you know, is loose or messed up and it tries to arc, which is one of the most common reasons for a fire, it will shut down the breaker automatically. Um, I guess that's code for St. Louis. It makes life or makes this process a lot more expensive. Um, you know, the breakers cost about five times more. However, it does prevent fires in the future. And so I should never have an electrical fire in this house whatsoever, no matter what. So that's pretty awesome. Along with that, this outlet here fires. This outlet here works and fires. We're hot there. Uh, this outlet here, I'm currently using just a junction box. Again, everything is wire nutted. We have everything safe in there. It's just kind of tucked in for the time being just because I wanted to show you guys what it looks like with one light on in a room because I'm telling you guys, pushing that button for the first time was the coolest thing. Uh, we do have another outlet here, but it's just, it's not live right now, it's dead. Um, and then this is the line that heads up to give power to the uh, outlet and switch, or to the light fixture and the switch. Uh, and you can see I've got all my lines up there. They're all knocked in, they're all straight, they're all correct. So pretty excited about that. I also do have one extra additional line down here that I've ran in the basement because I need the boiler going. And the boiler does require power, believe it or not. Um, so there's one new line, let me go up, up here. You can see the, the white line or not the white, the yellow line. 
um, and it comes back and heads all the way down into the vet's office, down to the breaker panels down there, as you can see right here. Yeah, I'm using my phone as a flashlight. <laughs> it's what I got, sorry. Um, so got that line in. Uh, Tuesday, a guy comes and, or a guy from a, a local boiler company comes and is going to be fixing two of the valves on the boiler. So we should have heat by Wednesday. So that'll be exciting stuff. Of course, I think I've told you guys before, it takes about five days or so, three, four days to heat this house up with the boilers. But it also, once you turn the boiler off, it stays warm for about four or five days. So good stuff. Can't wait to get that system up and rocking and rolling again. It's really, really exciting. And now, yes, I, I know I wanted to get a bit more um, content. And I, I should have filmed more of the process uh, of running these few lines down here that are actually functional and working. Um, it, it was really an exciting moment to flip the switch. But like I said, uh, my grandfather ended up coming a date earlier than I thought he was. So I ended up in a real, real rush for time trying to get all the lines in. So all he had to do was come in here and you know plug them all in, work it all together, and uh, we were good. You know, by the way, my grandfather has wired many, many a house. None of them have ever you know burned down or anything like that. Um, so you know he's extremely trustworthy with it, and I wanted somebody who had experience doing such things to come and help me, especially with running my my first few lines to make for sure that they were done correctly, and that I could mimic this whole system in this one room in the boiler one around the entire house and know that I was correct every single time. So it was something I wanted somebody to come check my work before I had the actual electrician in here and you know saw something that I had done wrong, that I had done wrong and repeated all over the house. So yeah, it worked out really well and I'm really glad it ended up happening because uh, like I said, pushing a button on a, or just pushing a switch in an outlet, I think people take it for granted, but once you don't have power for so long, pushing, just pushing that switch Oh, it's a magical feeling. Mwah! It's so, so good. So I'm very, very excited to have, have had it done. And yeah, <laughs> it's been really, really cool. And now because I have these additional outlets too, I'm able to run more power to more places. And I've been leaving lights on in the house. And I really kind of want to show you guys what it looks like outside because it's really cool. As you can see, the, the, my lucky one here, La Fortune. So uh, let me take you guys outside and I'll show you guys some of the... Uh, really cool how the building looks when it's got some light on it because it's just kind of magical so let's head outside and i'll show you guys the magical little light show that the house has become pretty happy about it So yeah, guys, I think it's, uh, it's pretty magical looking out there. I have a smile on my face every time I leave the house. Um, I mean, I always do, but now I have an even bigger one. So it's, it's been really nice. It's, it's such a milestone to get power in this place. And even though most every one of those lights you guys see outside, except for the kitchen is a work light, it's still amazing. Like just having, I don't know, again, life. Everything's about having more life in the building. And every time I see something like that. It's just kind of magical. It's, 
it's seeing the progress in your work. It's seeing things come together. It's, it's also seeing the end of the road for a, a single you know, part of the house. It's, it's all coming back and ah, it just makes me so happy. I'm so excited about it all. So it's, it's been a really cool week in that respect. And I know it's been a bit slower um, this week than, than probably usual. Um, but again, you know, life happens sometimes and uh, yeah, it just is what it is, right? <laughs> So, but I thank you guys always for, for being here, for being so ridiculously supportive of me and Kim and, and this whole project. And it's just been awesome. So uh, as always, guys, I hope you guys share my excitement um, because it's been a really, really cool thing. I, I'm almost worn that switch out, I'm sure, playing with it. <laughs> it's probably already been on and off about a thousand times. Also next week, what to expect? More electricity. Um, I'm hoping, like I said, to get this wrapped up within about two or three weeks. Uh, I know that's probably kind of slow to professional electrician standards, but I'm not a professional electrician. So um, I'm hoping to wrap it up, uh, get all the holes, uh, snake all the wires through where they need to go, put all the sconce, you know, areas back in and, and all the boxes and make everything right. So it's going to take a second because some wires have some funny little paths they have to take. So I don't have to cut out as much plaster. So. Uh, it's going to take a bit, but I think it's going to be a, a wonderful adventure, just like this entire house has been a wonderful adventure. So, um, yeah, should be a fun one. And uh, while I probably won't be more with, back with more lights next week, I will be back with more yellow wires running everywhere. But that is the real hard part of this whole battle. So I just got to get those few things in and we'll be good to go. So that's the end of the video. Thank you guys all so, so much for being here. You guys, uh, you know, your guys' support means the world uh, to me, and I'm, and I'm sure the house thinks so as well, don't you, house? Um, <laughs> so thanks again. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. Um, we'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.